Hello guys and welcome to another episode of my Wolves career. Um, it's my mistake that I'm talking over this now because at the start of the episode I forgot to press the record button to the commentary but um, I eventually realised and you're going to join me about 20 something minutes into the game so you'll see me, um, I'll be talking live then but as you can see our next game is against Newcastle at St James's Park. The squad will be up in a minute. As you can see, we got Goldborn, Stearman, Black in Ebanks in defence, uh, Zalalem, uh, Edwards and McDonald in midfield, and Jacobs, Ings and Zaha up front. Uh, I want to thank you guys for your support and enjoy the episode. See you guys. Peace. That's it, Ings. Go on, Ings. Go on, Ings. Danny Ings. Oh, Ings with the goal, guys. Danny Ings with the goal. It's about time he stepped up and started, you know, challenging for a striker position. Ooh, we 1-0 against Newcastle. The fans don't look happy. I'm, so, I'm sorry, lads. I'm sorry. But look at this. Ings pretty much just runs past the defender like he isn't even there. It's got a bit of pace, Ings, as to be fair. Then just puts it past Krull to make that 1-0. Let's do this. Let's keep it moving. Oh, McDonald with that back heel. That back heel was filthy. Oh, Edwards. Oh, free for Zaha. Zaha. Oh, off the post. How? What the hell's going on? Oh, Zaha turns his man. Zaha turns his man with ease. Back post. Oh. Finish it, Jacobs. Oh, it's a foul. Ref, it's a foul there. Can you find Zaha on the run? Oh, look at Zaha, the pace. Get past his man. Finish it. Oh, Zaha, how many chances are you going to have today? Edwards. Edwards round. Oh, oi. I was going to say, what a ball that was from Edwards. All right, ref, that's gold. I mean, gold. <laughs> that should be a red. Bloody... I was, I was about to score, went round the keeper. It was just a tap-in. Look, I went round the keeper. Look. Not to pass the keeper. Boom. If anything, it was a goalkeeper who took me out. The goalkeeper's the one who should be carded, not the defender. Alright, Zaha gets his chance to get his first goal. He should have actually have a hat trick by now, but here we go. Zaha's gonna step up and put it into the back of the net for us, and it's a goal. There we go. 2 0. We get the second goal that we was after. Nice taking penalty. I like the Newcastle Stadium. It's actually a really nice stadium. But look at that. Boom. Straight down the middle. Alright, I brought on Lapara and also Mayuka for Ings and Jacobs as I was a bit fatigued. So, what defending. I see. Can I get another one? Mayuka's, on, Mayuka's by himself here. Mayuka's by himself. He's got the pace though. He's got the pace. Oh! Oi! Ref! Yeah, it's a second yellow for him. That's a red. Newcastle are down to 10 men. Bloody hell. He took Mayuka out. That, that was a straight red in my eyes. He went straight through the player. I mean, look at this, Mayuka's on the run, has no intention of getting the ball, just wants to take out the player, look at that, boom, actually, actually missed, Mayuka dived, oh, Mayuka might be able to go all the way here, Mayuka finds Edwards, Edwards on the run, Edwards hasn't got the pace though, gets past his man, oh, he's got no, ain't got no pace, oh, finds Mayuka, Mayuka, oh, what a goal, Mayuka, makes that 3-0 game over, Edwards finding one, a beautiful pass, Gets surrounded by players but still manages to pick out the corner to make that 3-0 game over. Game done. Anyway, it's going to bring it to the end of the game. Picking up the victory in the end. 3-0 at St. James's Park. Oh man, it was a, what a game that was. Ed was being our man of the match. 8.9 rating. Mayuka with a 7.3. Zaha 7.5. Should have been a lot higher. Should have had a lot more goals. Uh, Blackett, incredible, incredible games. I'm not surprised. Ebanks had an amazing game as well. 7.6. As you can see, stats dominated the game. Uh, they only had two shots, one of them being on target. We had nine, six on target. Possession was pretty much even, um, but beside that, they, had also, they also had a man sent off. So, But let's get on with the next game. No, our next game is in the Capital One Cup against QPR. Uh, probably feel the weakened team in this one as well. All right, guys, so I've gone for like a pretty much of a half sort of weekend team. We've gone for um, O'Hanlon, Stearman, uh, Margarine, and Bellerin in defence, Zalalem. Uh, Edwards and Lapara in midfield, but as you can see on the left wing, I got someone called El Masodi, something like that. Uh, it came through, the through, came through from the academy, so I thought I'd give him a chance. Uh, and we've got Mayuka and Dico up top. Uh, we don't really have a young, young striker on the bench, so uh, probably that Ivan Tony when he comes in will probably fill that role. All right, like I said, I'm not really taking this competition seriously. QPR are actually doing really well this year as well uh, in our league for some reason. I think they're like, I think, I think they're in the top four. So we're gonna have to try and beat them. I wonder if I got a full strength team. I can't. I don't get why QPR are doing so well. Like I don't see any big new players. Oh, the one nil already from QPR. Like I just don't get who they've signed. There's no one that I can see. I'm seeing Jordan Much, and my GTA is installed, and I'm seeing Jordan Much and the likes of uh, Hoylet. There's no one like, no one really standing out. Sandro. So why are they doing so well? I don't. I don't know. Oh, Mayuka. Beautiful turn from Mayuka. Mine's Dicko. Ooh. 
Oh no, they're on side. Yeah, the left back played them on. Oh, the left back played them on. Who is this striker? He keeps scoring the same guy again. I mean, the left back played them on. That's my fault. But who is this? Is that? It's not Zamora, is it? Who is it? Ball comes in again. Oh my God! Is it the same guy? Who is this dude? I've never heard of him ever, and he goes and scores a hat-trick in the first half against me. Oh my god. I'm, I need to know what the QPR players are rated. They're tearing me apart. Oh my god, that was close. They're tearing me apart. I don't get what's going on. Oh no. Oh my god, guys, it's 4-0. I'm 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 shocked. I'm I don't know what's do, what was happening. <laughs> right, take a short corner, passes it out, falls to Sandro. Look at that first time. Bam. I know it's a second tier squad, but I expect better than this. What a ball. Mayuka. Mayuka, finish it. Finish it, Mayuka. Alright, I've gone back to a 4 3 3 formation. I've put Mayuka on the left wing, Dicko up front, and I've took off Edwards and brought Gold on. And I've also put on Rabio for um, that youngster that we had on. Sandro is playing like he's the best CDM in the world right now. Look at this. What? What's going on? Oh my god. Who's it now? What is this? This is the worst day of. This is the worst episode so far. Oh my. That ball comes in. Rabio. Oh, Rabio gets one back for us. Thank you, Rabio. Thank you. Oh, what a ball. Dicko. Finish it, Dicko. Dicko, finish it, please. We need a bit of dignity from this game. Mayuka's in here. Get the ball in Mayuka. Get your head to it. Yes, we get one back. There's a bit of dignity there. Gold with the header. As you can see, ball gets whipped in from Mayuka. It's alright on the wing, actually, Mayuka is. And there's gold just to head it in to make that 5 2. Oh, Mayuka. Mayuka. Cross box. Oh, my God. Oh, man. It's not happening. It's just not happening. Anyway, it's going to bring it to the end of the game. I can only apologize for that scoreline, guys. I can't get over how good. Their players were like I didn't expect. Yeah, Jordan much doing stuff. Sandro, I just don't get it. I, I just don't get it. As you can see, the stats weren't that far apart. Eight shots, but all theirs were on target. Went in. It was pretty much that was the fact. I want to see their ratings. Uh, who's got Sigerson at front? That's our player, Sigerson. Uh, their striker got a ten rating, a ten, perfect ten. Hoylet, uh, M. Decosta, never heard of him. McCarthy, Anua, Sandro. Tarat. There's only a few players here that I've heard of, but they were taking me apart. Anyway, we go crashing out of the Capital One Cup in the round of 16. It's a shame, really. We won it last year, but hopefully we can win the Prem or the FA Cup this year. Uh, all right, and the next game is a derby against West Brom, so we're gonna have to bloody step this one up. I don't want to be losing again. All right, that's team we're going for. Going for Goldborn, Blackett, Bath, and Bellerin in defence. Zalalem, Gold, and Rabio midfield, and Dicko, Jacobs, and Zaha up front. Scuff it in goal, of course. I'm just hoping we win this one. I really want to. I don't want to lose our momentum in the league now, just because that's small. I wouldn't even say it was a small blip. It was a. It was horrendous. That's it, Rabio. That's it, Rabio. Go on, Rabio. Oh, Rabio. Oh, oh, the deflection. Oh, it's going in. It went in through the deflection. Oh, four minutes on the clock and we get the goal. Rabio as well, who doesn't get many. As you can see, we do a little pull back here. Look at that, pull the ball back. Takes a shot with, ah, oh, Lescott of all people, our former player. Gets a little dink on, I think he did it on purpose. Look at this, just tips it over the goalkeeper. Ah, oh, nice. Rabio's first goal in the Premier League. Over the top for Zaha. You know what's oh, Zaha does this, man. Zaha does this, man. Cross box. Finish it, finish it, that go in. Is that an on goal? What sort of goals are we scoring against West Brom today? I'm not too sure, but Dicko gets the goal. As you can see here, yeah, goal line technology confirming the ball went into the net. There you go, there's the proof that you want. Yep, that was de that's definitely over the line. I can see that, I can see that. Oh, to Dicko's in, yeah, Dicko's in. Oh, Dicko, you had a bit more pace there. Dicko? Dicko, ooh, goalkeeper stings his palms. Just keep ball, keep ball, but keep ball. Finds gold. Gold. Oh, gold. Goalie, please catch it. Goalie, please catch it. Where are you, Scuff it? What are you doing, Scuff it? Oh, that's the worst mistake you've made so far in your career at Wolves. Oh, man. What were you doing? Ball just comes in. I don't know what the hell you're doing. You sort of just jog away from it. 
Oh, what a ball for goal. Gold finishy. Gold finishes. Oh, gold finishy. Oh, what's going on? Get a ball. Get a ball. Back post. Oh, gold. Oh, just as I was. Pre oh, he's offside. Oh, my God. That would have been such a nice goal as well. Ah, frustrating. I'll turn his man from the corner. From the free kick. Oh, net. Get it. Get it. Yes. What sort of dodgy goals have been scored today? I don't think there's been a single clean goal in this game. Is that man gold? Is that his chances today? Should have really have a hat trick. Look at this, cross the box. Comes in, goal gets to is it is it don't tell it's less got again. If that's less got again. Oh my god, let's go. What team are you playing for? Let's go. You play for West Brom now, not Wolves. Anyway, it's gonna bring it to the end of the game. Picking up the ritual in the end, 3-1. Let's got getting us two goals. And goal getting us the other one. Was it gold? I can't remember who got us the other goal. But I think goal, uh, Lescott should be man of the match in my opinion. Uh, got us two goals, so that's amazing. Uh, as you see, Dicko got an 8.1 rating. What was Dicko? Uh, Lescott's rating 6.2. Surprise there, it's getting us two goals. Laparo was poor, 5.2. Gold and Rabio, boss in midfield with an 8 rating. Great game. Anyways, guys, I'm going to bring this episode to a close. If you did like it, guys, please give a like. And if you guys are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you guys. Peace!